Hello everyone. This presentation will help you understand and successfully complete the SBI learning module. Using simulation-based learning is a great way to increase your skills to screen individuals for substance use and provide a brief intervention. This will help clients achieve improvements in health and will enhance their quality of life. Let's review the learning goals. You will learn the definition of screening and brief intervention. Next, you will learn about the goal of a harm reduction approach and how SBI contributes to that goal. Next, we will talk about implementation of SBI in practice, including the benefits and barriers to the implementation. This training will help you get better ideas of what the SBI might look like from the patient's or client's perspective. And finally, you will learn how the screening tools for behavioral health can supplement SBI. The brief screening and intervention techniques are short, problem-specific approaches that can be valuable in the treatment of substance abuse problems. They are evidence-based, structured conversations about alcohol consumption. The goal of the intervention is to motivate and support individuals to consider a change in their drinking behavior to reduce potentially harmful effects of alcohol. So, we are not really trying to stop an individual from using alcohol. SBI helps people to become more aware of the risks and get a better idea about responsible use. Brief interventions in primary care can range from 5 minutes of brief advice to 15 to 30 minutes of brief counseling. These techniques are becoming more and more common in the treatment of substance abuse problems. Clinicians can increase positive outcomes by using this approach independently, either as standalone interventions or treatments, or as additions to other forms of substance abuse and mental health treatment. The healthcare system changes to a managed model of care, and this treatment can be reimbursement by insurance providers. To qualify for reimbursements, social workers need to have a master's or doctor's degree in social work. They also need to have practice experience and be licensed or certified as clinical social workers by the state where they perform the services. The fee schedule usually varies across different payers. Finally, this approach can be used at a number of settings, including the primary care, home health care as well as in the specialized substance abuse treatment settings, both inpatient and outpatient. Essentially, this training will help you learn how to successfully use a two-step approach. The first step is to ask the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism validated single question screen. The second step is to use the brief intervention. SBI with adults prepares healthcare providers to use the evidence-based SBI framework and motivational interviewing techniques with adult patients. Learning is based on the simulated case scenarios. The structure of training is very straightforward. In Part 1, you will learn about SBI. In Part 2, you will be able to practice it. And in Part 3, you will be able to demonstrate what you've learned. SBI with adults contains the instructional video content on screening, brief intervention, and telehealth checklist for success. The users practice a brief intervention in a telehealth environment. The main benefit of screening is that clinicians can use very little time to identify client drinking patterns that harm clients' health and prevent them from achieving their life goals. The simulation contains one practice role-play encounter with Mark Walker, who is the veteran of the Marine Corps. Here you will learn how to assess the substance use risk using validated screening tools. You will also practice leading a patient encounter to elicit Mark's motivation to change. There will also be two assessment scenarios. In the first scenario with Sam Davis, you will perform an initial alcohol screening using the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism Validated Single Question Screen. In the other scenario with Jessica Thomas, you will use the OARS motivational interviewing approach to conduct a brief intervention to talk about Jessica's drinking habits, discuss the risks of alcohol abuse, and elicit her motivation to change. Now, let's talk about how you can navigate the learning environment. In the upper left corner, you will see the talk button. The talk button opens a menu of tactics, like build rapport or get info. Using the talk menu, students can choose what to say to achieve the scenario's goals. Clicking the undo button allows to go back and try a different choice. It can be helpful for the student to click on the thought bubble that appears near the character's head. These messages offer insight on how the virtual patient or client is thinking. As the conversation progresses, students can tap the button at the bottom to receive guidance from the virtual coach on the choices made. The simulation may also provide text feedback helping you think about an alternative approach. When users make a significant mistake that can compromise the brief intervention, the system will suggest that users either continue practicing without passing the assessment, or restart to pass the assessment. Click on the information menu on the right side. 
This menu contains information on motivational interviewing methods and brief negotiated interview steps. It may also contain the patient's or client's screening results and patient's or client's chart. Now, let's review the performance criteria. At the end of the practice challenge with Mark, you will see the performance dashboard with personalized feedback on the choices you've made throughout the conversation. The scores will be assigned to measure your rapport with the virtual human and your adherence to the brief intervention model. The program will assess your competency in delivering the NIAAA single question alcohol screening. At the end of the scenario, you will be provided a score dashboard that tells how many attempts you took to identify the correct screening question to ask. The dashboard shows a score of 1 to 5. Users score 5 points for identifying the NIA single question screening question on the first try. Users lose 1 point for each mistaken attempt. A score dashboard will tell you whether you passed or failed the assessment. It will also give a personalized feedback on the choices you made throughout the scenario and suggest how you can improve. Completing this training will take some time. Make sure your earphones, computer and Wi-Fi work properly. For best results, try to eliminate any distractions and background noises. Don't forget to log into your account. When you are in the practice mode, experiment with different approaches and see what happens. Finally, check out these additional resources that can help you in your practice. There are a number of screening tools that can supplement SBI. In addition to the ones presented on this slide, it is often useful to screen for co-occurring mental health and behavioral problems that can be addressed in therapy.